I'm Mike Sullivan and today I am home. I would like to show you something that you can do, a drill you can do in 10 or 15 minutes at your house. You don't even need to hit a ball and it's going to help you with your long game as well as your short game. Okay, so here I am, I am home. And I want to, as you may tell, I'm a little bit under the weather. So um, I know my mom is watching this. Mom, don't worry, I'm okay. But I'm home today. So I wanted to still make an instructional video that was going to be of value to you. And the last week, the last video we put out, we talked about starting your downswing. And roughly it's the idea of you're going to be basically starting your downswing similar to the way that you would toss a ball sidearm. Okay? So what's happening is you turn back pressure moves into your front foot, your hips kind of turn through and then everything follows. So if your hips, I'm gonna turn back on my shoulders first, if your hips start your downswing and you keep turning them, everything else is gonna come through really nice. You can see my lead hip ends up on top of my front foot, my trail foot, the heel is up on my toe. That's where we wanna be. As opposed to starting your downswing with your upper body because that's gonna cause this move here, which is very likely going to be an out to in swing path, you're going to hit pulls and slices. So this is something you can do every day for a couple of minutes. And you can do it, um, of course, without a club, just kind of feeling like, you know, you've got no club there and you're just back here and through there, right? So shoulders back, hips through. If you've got a club laying around the house, an old one, here's another thing you can do, and this really helps a lot. So if you remember a few videos ago, we did a video with the, the PVC pipe. Um, you can turn this club into the long PVC pipe drill. All right, there's a little link across here to help you find that video if you'd like. Just take your club, take your normal setup, okay? You don't even need a ball. And then stay in your normal setup and kind of inch the club back so that the grip of the club is out in front of your lead hip. Now. Literally, you probably don't want your hands far enough forward so the grip points forward of the, le of the lead hip, but this is just a drill. It's a little bit of exaggeration, okay? So here I am, I've got, I can sense my club face is right in front of me. I'm gonna make a little practice swing and try to avoid letting this handle hit me in the hip, right? So I'm gonna turn back with the shoulders first, hips through, there we go. So this is gonna help us with our kinematic sequence is gonna help us with our weight shift, our pressure shift into our lead foot, and it's gonna help you stop hitting pulls and especially slices, okay? Cookie, you gonna come into the video? I'm not sure if you can see her or not. Okay, so shoulders back, hips through. Now let's say you'd like to get a little more dynamic with this and make a real swing. You can grab one of these alignment sticks, one of these driveway markers from Lowe's or Home Depot, Put it right underneath the grip of your club like this, under the shaft. Okay, grip it normally and get a feel for that this way. Shoulders back, hips through. Shoulders back, hips through. And you can make little practice swings. You could even hit little shots like that, little, little chip shots. All right, I hit a little chip shot like that. Okay, just a little teeny little chip shot like that. One other thing you can do, if you've got an old club and you don't mind kind of messing with the grip a little bit, you can take your alignment stick. You may have to bore out the hole a little bit, but you can take an alignment stick and put it right in the butt end of the grip, like so, and hit shots just like this. Or take practice swings. Look at that. So the key is getting, getting that pressure into that front foot, starting with the hips moving forward. And this is a little chipping drill. It's gonna help you a lot with your chipping, but it's also gonna give you the repeated correct sequence to help you with your full swing. Something you can do at home, 10 minutes a day. I hope that helps. I'll see you next time.